Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Aliens Dark Descent. This is Chromanim, and this is going to be episode 4. I knew it's it's been a little while since uh, I dropped one of these episodes. I've been kind of uh, busy, so I had to resort with, to what I had in stock. But we will continue this, and I would like to finish the whole game at some point. So even if we miss a week or two, I do want to uh, keep going with this series until I finish the game. So last episode, we finished the, all the missions in Dead Hills, we got all the data pads, we killed an alien queen, which was, uh, it was something. <laughs> we also managed nice to uh, upgrade Deputy. some of our soldiers, we, they actually have specialties now, which is pretty amazing. We also unlocked some new weapons, we unlocked the smart gun, uh, the sniper rifle and the mine. We already have an incinerator unit, so that's gonna be amazing. But I realized right at the end of the episode that after going through all the upgrades, what did Lieutenant I teach Shark you, here, Salute. who actually has the sniper rifle, we completely forgot that it also needs a silencer to work properly. <laughs> so we can take down uh, aliens from a distance without them spotting us. But well, that's on me, and I'm not gonna reverse that just to give us an advantage. So we're gonna drop into our... Whoops, sorry about that. We're gonna drop into our next mission just like this. They are all tired, but I haven't advanced Hello, the day yet. Administrator Hayes. So yeah, we're gonna do that just now. Let's do a quick check. Medical quarters is okay. I healed everyone. And we also unlocked <laughs> the kitten Kevlar, Kevlar plates uh, with uh, Xeno samples. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna advance the day. Need to hold this. New objectives are awaiting your review. All right, and we have an event: Old Ship Cemetery Distress Signal. We re we received a distress signal from a ship breaker in an old ship cemetery. We could uh, go on a rescue mission, and we would rescue one engineer, which is pretty, pretty awesome. They do generate materials every day, and that's amazing, and we would lose the deployment. But we aren't really in any hurry right now. We could also ignore the signal. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to go on the rescue mission. We're going to get all the engineers, the day timer will advance. And uh, let's check on our soldiers here. They're still tired. Did I teach you, Marine? Salute. Mm, for one day. So if we advance another day, uh, they should recover just enough to go out. You can count on them. Man. Okay, so let's skip ahead to the next day as well. New the planet infestation is growing. Review. I'm not sure what that does, but uh, I guess we'll see. Right, incident in the lab. One of the scientists accidentally spread acid on his face when dissecting a xenomorph arm. Oh, great. All physicians are unavailable for a day. That's uh, not that good. Or one of our physicians has a 30% chance of dying. We only have three physicians and I don't want to risk losing one of them. So today there will be no wound healing. Which uh, sucks. And the infestation went up. Right. Well, let's start deploying. And our next uh, mission will be in Berkeley's docks. We do know that the containers in Dead Hills came from the docks. So let's go check it out. There will be six primary, five secondary, and 11 data pads. And materials and some Xenotech. So Understood. let's build our squad. Uploading mission data. Right. Now the question is: Do I want to take everyone, or uh, 
I definitely want to take Lieutenant Sharp simply because uh, he's got a bit of catching up to do with the experience. Um, actually, uh, I don't know. Let's not take McDonald. Let's take someone else. Let's take... Uh, Kurtz. She should be good. I'd like to, to skill up the rookies as well. Um, just so they, they don't end up lagging behind. If one of our main guys dies, I would prefer to not start from scratch. Okay, so these do cost... Duke Xenotech. One more armor. You know what? I'll take it. And we're gonna take... I'll just take two sentry guns for now. Gonna take two medical supplies and... Two tools, just so we have enough space in case uh, we need to recover more. So, let's jump right in. Administrator Hayes has a plan. Building a satellite so we can have a voice beyond those damn platforms. The problem? We don't have the tech to do the job. But we caught a break. Remember that container we recovered in Dead Hills? Turns out it came by train from Berkeley's docks. This is a spaceport, and a big one. We might be able to find what Hayes is looking for there. So let's kill two birds with one stone, shall we? Don't go thinking this is a milk run. There could be more of these creatures out there. Engage where necessary, and assist all civilians. Let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. All right, Marines, you know the drill. Sweep and secure. Remember, we're after a comms repeater, but we also need more information about the container we saw in Dead Hills. Both could be found around here, but these ports aren't exactly known for their record keeping. That's right. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Full search of the area. Stay sharp, squad. Well, that's a good start. Find a way to open that door, Marines, or the ARC will stay outside. Okay, let's see what we have around here. Pop those work supplies for a moment. And we can also check the map. It's quiet. Too quiet. Those are ingress points, I think. It's cool that we actually have uh, the whole map revealed to us. Okay. Creepy ass place this is. It shouldn't be this quiet. Where is everyone? I mean, we kind of expected as much. And, uh. There's something wrong with those dogs. Oh. Shouldn't boy. they be barking or something? Yes. <laughs> I don't think those are gonna bark, my dude. Let's hope whoever did this crosses our path. From your lips to God's ears. Right. Squad, get in that security outpost. So, we'll see what the locals from have to say. what I know, when it comes to Alien, we do know that um, aliens uh, kind of take the crates of uh, the creature they incubated in. And if it's dogs, we are probably talking about runners. Which are smaller, more flimsy, quiet. Quiet. but uh, very, home. very fast. So much for corporate security. Stay alert, squad, and continue searching. 
Okay, let's see what we have around here. There's a data pad there. Roger. Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. A data pad. Sure. <laughs> right. Terminal Correspondence, Security Office, Number 2. From Duty Veterinarian Robert Taplin to Senior Watchman Harry Mears. Monthly checkups are done. Your watchdogs get a clean pass from me. I'll get the data work into the system before the end of the week. Not really anything of note to report, and certainly no sign of what's causing the agitation you mentioned. A few scratches around their muzzles, possibly bite damage. Might be they're fighting? There's a weather front building, and you know how that sets dogs on edge. They're like people that way. If it becomes a problem, try kenneling them separately and see if the situation improves. Yeah. It's, it's fun to read stuff about this after the disaster happened. Because we, we all know why the dogs were worried. Animals have a keen sense looks of... Looks like the armory was looted. The weapons... Xenomorphs. Dogs. It looks an awful lot like Dead Hills. Maybe the workers try to fight these creatures. All the more reason to move the ARC. Find that terminal, Marines, and get that door open. Okay, we have a tool On here. On my way! Let's see what's inside. And an another data pad? Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. Harry Mears log number one. Senior watchman Harry Mears to Chief Carol Denziger. Still getting plenty of reports about strangers roaming the compound. Might be drifters, might be nothing. You know what these dockers are like. About the only entertainment they have is telling tall tales and drowning in booze. Still, I've told my guys to keep an eye out, uh, an eye open for outsiders. Can't be too careful, especially these days. Okay. And here's our terminal. And, uh, Good job, Squad. Joining you now. We should aim for port control. Its shipping manifest could take us to repeater compatible with the EEV. And give us more info on that container, of course. And I completely forgot, but uh, we should start planting motion trackers Deploying here and there. motion tracker. Setting a motion tracker. I, I got a bit uh, used to activated. already having them everywhere in the last mission. So this actually covers quite a bit of an area. We got coverage over two ingress points, but we should be good. And I am more comfortable with the ARC available to us. Don't get too comfy, okay? Okay, what do we have to do now? Oh, we're still blocked, so there's another barrier somewhere. Okay, shipping manifest in the port control. How do we get there? I'm guessing all the way through here. Wow. Stay frosty, Marines. Yeah, that's nothing I Contact! USCM, identify yourself, citizen. Oh. Gotta love the friendly locals, right, Sarge? Leave him be. Keep moving to port control. Keep your eyes open. Something ain't right here. Copy. Uh, I think the camera might have went a little bit haywire. But I'm guessing that was a guy running somewhere. So... Looks like the dockers don't want you going that way. Probably striking. Gotta hold the line or you've already lost. Not that you'd understand. No. This feels like something bigger. Nice sharp, Marines. Weapons ready, but fire on my command only. I thought these were your people, Sergeant. They are. But my men are family. Okay. What's here, actually? Oh, the ingress point is... 
on the other side? I'm confused. But I will deploy another motion tracker here. Simply because uh, motion tracker. we have the Setting command points. It doesn't uh, actually motion tracker activated. take any resources from us. I don't like this man. Who the hell's whistling? Oh, that doesn't look like right. Look right. So bring it on, you bastards! Tell them to disperse now. First and final warning. <laughs> Shit! Open fire! Great descending. Grant us your strength. How about shotgun? Light him up! Wait. Okay, so. Thanks to the titles, we know that we have cultists. I want to look around here a little bit, see what we can find. Yep, yeah, there's a tool over there. And I think this would be a good spot to drop another one of Deploying these. Motion tracker. Setting up motion tracker. Motion tracker deployed. Oh, this spot also. Mad kit over there? Wait. On my way. Let's see what's inside. The good thing about uh, fighting those cultists, the stress didn't really increase all that much, so um, at least there's that. There's something around. Okay. Are those aliens or are those cultists? They're just cultists. They way. What's in there? Oh, there's a corpse in there, so let's Copy. use one ammo Landing to demolish C4. that. Get down, it's gonna blow! Oh, this will make them all come this way. But I don't think it will be a problem. Let's do some suppressive fire that way. They're here to destroy them! Bring them down! They're headed our way! Brother, I hit! Gah! You like that, huh? Someone's here! Alright. Copy. Let's see what's inside. And some more ammo, so then we didn't actually waste anything by, uh... Blowing up that door. Unfortunately, there was nothing on the corpse. There's something around. Oh, well, there's still a little bit of stress from fighting the cultists, and uh, is that an ingress point right there. There's something around. Oh, data pad. We can grab that. Roger. Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. 
Okay, let's see what we got. Trip Morrison log. Assistant Administrator Jeb Morrison. Reckon Williams might actually follow through on her threats to automate the docks. She had a representative from Siegson Synthetics in here the other day, seeing if they'd be willing to undercut Wayland Yutani. Can't see that going over very well. Let's, let these damn near a company world, and I doubt the, exec, uh, the execs at Pharaoh Spire are going to let any other corporations get their claws into this hunk of mud. And you know, maybe that's for the best. That sales rep was a creepy son of a bitch. Cold, dead eyes, except for when he was talking about his product. It's simple. No humans, no problem. Yeah, that kind of talk always ends well. Hmm. So, not, not only... Oh, we could actually blow that up. So, not, not only was... Um, Dead Hill's pretty... going pretty badly for the people. But, uh... There's talk of... More there was... Incoming. Talk of automating this place as well. Affirming. Oh! There's a body over there. There is some, someone coming over here. Not, nothing. Don't get too comfy, okay? Do I want to hide from these guys or do I want to kill them? Affirmative. Standing mine. Watch your feet. Safe position taken. Mine's activated. Oh, I kind of wish I brought the sniper guy. Come on. Still doesn't see us? More signals incoming. Come on. Safe position taken. Ah. Keep trying to lure them in the mines, but they, they don't wanna. They're headed our way. Let there be light. There we go. In the name of Marlow, hunt them down. Enemies of the era! Runners of hit! Marlo, you hear that? Death to the oppressor! Holy crap, they jump far. These guys jump further than Xenomorphs with those hammers. Oh, can search inventory full. Right, we got a little bit of materials. And uh, yeah, I think coming in here was uh, probably not the best. Oh, another tool. Hmm. Deploying motion tracker. Motion tracker activated. <sighs> so many containers. And you want us to find one? Might as well look for a needle in a haystack. Keep your eyes peeled and that channel clear, Marines. Another tool here. And there are some Could enemies over there. Too bad these crates are blocking the way. Oh, there's a body over are there. To that crane. Its terminal should be nearby. You heard the administrator, Marines. Find a way to use that crane. Copy.
Oh, there's some ammo over there, but it's behind a big gate. Oh, we can access it from here, actually. All right. Looks like a fight. Maybe these dockers aren't all on the same side. Yeah, the problem is if we do that, we're probably gonna attract everyone. Safe position taken. Hmm. Okay, what's in here? Don't get too comfy, okay? A tool? They're headed our way. They're headed our way. Deploying sentry gun. There's gonna sentry be a few of them way. over there, so if they're coming up here, I'd sentry rather activated. have a little bit of backup. Suppressive fire! Let's rock! <sighs> A glorious death! More signals incoming. Okay, there's more coming. Apparently they can't come from this direction. Otherwise they wouldn't have gone around. And we do have a really nice spot to uh Great Ascended grants us your strength. We do have enough uh, a nice enough spot to weld the door. More enemies! Rejoice! Brothers, I'm hit! <laughs> Glorious death! There's a few of them, more of them coming in. Light them up! Brothers, I did! Oh, one of our hand. guys is already down to his fist. These dockers, they didn't stand a chance against your men. It's not about chance, Administrator. They just rebelled. Folks do that around here. Come on. Being stuck on late is much of a life. Trust me. Holy crap, they jump far. Let's rock! Brothers, I hit! Gah! Yeah, I probably didn't need the shotgun shot, but whatever. Safe position taken. Well that door. You shall not pass, fuckers. <laughs> Safe position taken. Okay, unfortunately, can't in, right? I can't, but um, now? I can't really break open anything because I'm out of ammo. But we'll take a short rest, even if it's just 30, um, even if it's just 30 stress. Especially since one of my marines is uh, really, Nap's really close to um, <sighs> safe position taken. Also, I just realized we Breaking do the have wells. the sniper rifle because we we pulled out the sergeant. Door clear. Um, oh well. There's something around. I'm guessing this. Come on, some ammo maybe? No, but we do have Roger. the crane operations. So we can lift up the crane and bring in the ARC, and that should uh, take some pressure off of us. Last support required! Hang on, our ride is coming. There it is.
More signals incoming. Hmm. We can just wait here a bit and just uh, let the RC murder them. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's a You're close door a nice over there. Two ingress points, an elevator. And we have to get there. I kind of want to jump straight there with the RC. So let's just do it. And from there we can come all the way up and see what's in that door over there. I didn't see any other resources here. Let's just redeploy over there. Don't get too comfy, okay? Wish we had like five of these deployed all at once. Oh, there was a computer thing over to the right. I'm guessing that would open a, a different door. There was a, a lot of door somewhere around here, like the right there. Don't worry, squad. We'll find it. Okay, first of all, let's go get the money. The, More the signals incoming. Roger. Let's see what's inside. From here. And I'm guessing we're gonna have to break down the door. Yeah. Changing mad. Okay. I'm gonna search around a bit more, maybe we'll find some more munitions. Unfortunately, Let's see what's inside. we did take one of our uh, Sergeant Kurtz, basically, um, has one less munition going in, and uh, I didn't expect we'd use that much, honestly. Oh, there's another one, perfect. And a data pad. On my way! Let's see what's inside. Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. Right. Harry Mears log number two. Senior watchman Harry Mears to Commander Carol Denziger. Got a strange one for you, Chief. Had a lengthy chat with former foreman Riordan just before he upped sticks and left. Swore blind that Berkeley's dock is haunted. That something's crawling around, snatching folks into the shadows. Now Riordan's always been one for spinning a good yarn, especially if someone else is buying. But there was something in his eyes. Maybe it's nothing. Folk quit around here all the time, but Riordan stuck it out for 20 odd years. I'm going to double the patrols and ask around. If there's something in it, I'll let you know. Okay. They're headed our way. I don't mind that they're coming this way, honestly. But we'll just let the RC deal with it. Okay. Oh, that guy over here. And another tool. That guy also probably has tools or medicine. More signals incoming. I don't really see anything else worthwhile taking. Nothing here. And I am going to place another motion tracker. Deploying motion tracker. Setting up motion tracker. Motion tracker deployed. They're headed our way. <laughs> Okay, so that's like an ingress point for uh, um, cultists. That's very interesting. Another dead, dead person here. And we can actually loot this one. Let's see what he's got. Um, and I want to check that door over there. He's got nothing, which is really, really annoying. There's also resources here. 
Okay, we have a technician. Can technicians decrypt doors without quiet. using tools? Too quiet. Hacking terminal now. Ah, good enough. Access granted. They're headed our way. Oh, there Roger. we go. Let's see what's inside. Also, Webb and Smith gained a level, which is pretty cool. Okay, do we have anything else? There's some resources down here. I'll grab them as fast as possible. And uh, there is a terminal over there, but don't I get too comfy, don't okay? see that it can be uh, Let's see what's inside. used. I can... Nah. Looks like it's uh, not. Another dead guy There's here. Oh, some more ammo. Perfect. Okay, so we didn't check over here. And I kind of want to. That would mean breaking here. We could take the ammo here and here. Yeah, let's let's do quiet. it. Too quiet. So here we can Copy. demolish this. Plenty and we've C4. got no one on the map, so hopefully if no one comes up, no Get one down, will uh, hear it. Because they they only Right, you're gonna come from behind, Got probably. Let's see what's inside. Oh, never mind. They're, they're coming from over here. Let's uh. Deploying sentry gun. Sentry almost ready. Great descended. Grants us your strength. Light him up. Okay, I feel nice and covered over here. There's just one more coming. More signals incoming. Oh. oh, there's more than one. Okay, let's just deploy another sentry. Deploying sentry no gun. problem. Sentry almost ready. Let's rock. Ah! Okay, we can pick up this one. Roger. Packing sentry gun. And at this point, I think I can take both of them. There is no one packed. else coming. Planting C4. Get down! It's gonna blow! Okay. Two more ammo over here. So, we came out with a net gain here. Even though we wasted a little bit of um, ammo dealing with the uh, cultists. Although we have to reload, so... <laughs> Back down to free. Okay, and finally we're gonna have to demolish this one just to access that door over there. Get down! It's gonna blow! But again, there's no one on radar except those guys up there. And you know what? That. A Siegson crate. Nice catch, squad. Find the terminal of that crate so we can access those materials. You oh, okay. Materials. Now we'll get right to that. Looks a little bloody. And yeah, this door is completely sealed off, unfortunately. Okay, ARC got there, and we're going the wrong way. There we go. It's quiet. Right, there's Too a data quiet. pad here. We're gonna grab that. Hey, 
found something. Looks like a data pad. And the cable is uh, going through there somewhere. Let's see that data pad. Private log. Boris. I'm gonna say that's Vibraniek. Maybe. Um. Someone's definitely watching me. I can feel it. And they're getting bolder. Stuff started going missing from my toolbox and it's got to be them that took it. The supervisor says it's all in my head. She reckons I've not been right in the head since Clara left. That I've been distracted, sloppy. I can't make her understand. Hell, maybe she's right. Maybe I am going crazy. Who wouldn't around here? I've got leave coming, so maybe that'll help. Or maybe I should hit up the doc, get him to prescribe some snoozers. Might be nice to just drift off for a bit. Okay, so I'm guessing we can assume that's uh, the cultists messing with all of this. Is there anything else we didn't check? No, we pretty much got everything. We're missing a tool, but I, I don't think it's worth... Uh, Stay frosty, ...spending that much time just for a tool. Um, should I check that area as well? You know what? Yeah, let's redeploy with the ARC. More signals incoming. And we'll check that area as well and uh, see what's over there. I would love some more resources, honestly. Oh, and we forgot to check the boxes. Now following the cable. Yeah, my attention span is not the best, but there are some bullets over there. And honestly, that's what we need most right now. There's something around. On it. Let's see what's inside. Can we? No, we can cross. Although the doors are open, we should be able to. That would make it much easier, huh? Okay, so there is a door here, but it's completely locked. And, uh... We gotta get over there. And you know what? I'll just do it Don't on get foot. get too comfy, okay? Got something on a tracker. Yeah, they're way on the other side. I'll just call the RC over there and it'll, it'll All right, it's finish them off on the way. Oh, there's the cable. So it's gonna be that. Roger. Alright, let's see what's in there. Good work. Great well, that's a lot of Go going around. I'm sure no one will hold it against us. Well, we still have motion trackers pretty much all over the place, and I don't see any motion here. So, we should be good. Can I access this sit from here? No. Actually have to go all the way around. Stay frosty, Marines. On my way. Let's see what's inside. Please, no face huggers. Wow. 120. That's actually not bad. Uh, I will go ahead and call the RC back. And, uh, yeah, we'll get in there. There's. I don't think we can. Can we actually come around through here and get through that door? 
Wait a minute. Is this doable? Nah. I thought that could have been something, but... Okay, so let's just uh, continue on with the mission. Because we actually spent a lot of time basically doing nothing. We did search the whole place. Uh, so at least there's that. We got some materials. But I don't feel like we've progressed too much. And uh, honestly... Uh... We're starting to run out of time. And I feel like I didn't do much this episode. And that kinda... annoys me. <laughs> uh, you know what? Before I open that place up... Oh, these guys got guns. Uh. Find some cover, quick. They hit. Destroy them. Oh, I never used this, so let's give it a shot. You in my sights. Let's rock. Uh, guys. Do I actually have to... Okay. <laughs> so they were also behind cover, so it it turned up and turned out to be a, a slugfest. Alright, so uh when they're crouched they can't take damage from firearms. Okay. Watch out! Um. Enemies of the era! Let me get it. I'm ready. Got you in my sights. All right, precision shot works. Wonders. Oh! Crouching is actually a toggle here. Oh! Tell me someone else saw that. Okay, these guys are complete weirdos. Also, sentry gun. Did that docker just beg to be captured? It didn't finish activating. Would have been really good here. Stranger stranger Let's just here. pick it up. There's bound to be more of these creatures. Stay sharp, all right? Sentry packed. Safe position taken. Right. So, uh, that was something that happened. But yeah, we Safe position taken. are just about to enter the next part. Unfortunately, we did also run out of time for this episode. So uh, we're going to end it right here. Sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger. On a <laughs> our way. But uh, yeah, I, I would really like not to make episodes longer than one hour. 
just to make it a little bit more easier to uh, let's wait for the RC to finish so I can hear what I'm thinking <laughs> just to make them a little bit easier to watch so this episode we didn't really do much we did explore most of the map we opened up the path for the RC our guys actually got a few um, a, a little bit of experience two of them have gained a level and that's from the objective uh, from the objectives um, you looking for a nice spot for a picnic but yeah we only did one main mission one main objective and I can't even see which one Oh, actually, we got two secondary objectives and one primary, which is pretty okay. And uh, yes, next episode, we're gonna move in and uh, look for the shipping manifest in port control. And as we all know, this is alien, so the moment I run There's in there, around. I'm expecting some some bullshittery to happen. More signals incoming. And uh, you know what? Let's pull our guys behind the ARC. But yeah, this was it for this episode. I know it was kind of a mellow one, but uh, we're gonna get into better parts, I Head hope. Away. Again, because I never played this game before, I'm not sure what to expect, and I'm going in blind with no practice, so if one or two episodes turn up being a little uh, slower. I'm I'm really sorry, but that just how the game goes. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. As always, this has been Chromanim, and I'll see you all next time.